All right, so you probably clicked on this video because you saw the title that I sold my Skydio 2. And uh, yeah, that is totally true, sort of, because I still have a second one, but I don't have a second one. But I did sell my personal Skydio 2, and I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I did, so stick around. What's good, everybody? Welcome back. Ken here, this is Original Dobo. And today I'm gonna to tell you the reasons why I sold my personal Skydio 2. The reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like it's really important to try to be as transparent as possible with you guys, especially when we're reviewing products and you know, sort of giving you guys advice on what to buy and what not to buy because a lot of times you guys see these videos and then you go out and buy it based upon the recommendations or what you see online. So it's really important that I tell you why I did it. So that way if somebody uh, out there is having the same thoughts that I am, maybe it can help you make a better decision. So first things first, yes, I do have a second Skydio. No, it's not technically mine. Um, again, you guys know I work with Droneworks. We have a Droneworks Skydio that we are using to test with some commercial uh, clients, but I do have access to it anytime I want. So if I need to make an update video or talk about feature changes, keep you guys updated if you've already bought one, I can definitely go ahead and do so. So I still have access to it easily. If I wreck it, it's definitely gonna come out of my account. But um, yeah, so I went ahead and sold my personal Skydio. So right now in the office, there is no Skydio. This is a Skydio free zone. And I, um, I actually sold it to a gentleman who already had a Skydio too. And the beautiful thing about this was he already knew about Skydio's shortcomings. He knew all of its weaknesses. I didn't feel like anything about the sale was deceptive. And the fact that exactly what I paid for, I got right back, made me feel really good. So I'm not out of anything, which which is always on the um, the up and up. Um, I told my wife though, I told her I, I didn't get that much though. I told her I got less. Rule number one, you always say you sold it for less. Fuck, I'm more honest with you guys than I am with her. That's relationship issues, but I digress. We're talking about the reasons why I sold the Skydio. So here we go. So reason number one was just general reliability. Multiple, multiple times in my testing with the Skydio 2, I had some really interesting close calls that never made it online or in video form. I try not to do certain things for shock value so I don't draw unnecessary attention. But the Skydio 2 several, several times made some really, really peculiar obstacle avoidance calls. And, and I, I personally had some close calls that just made me scratch my head with this drone. And it's because of that, that comes in at reason number one as to why I decided to sell the drone. Reason number two is the connectivity issues with the controller. Like I am a average pilot. I like to fly my drone myself. I like to use a controller and this drone with the controller just sucks. There, I said it. And I should have been more blunt when I did my wrap up review of this drone, but using the controller with this drone sucks. And if anybody tells you otherwise, they're absolutely full of shit. And you shouldn't have to do any range extension modifications. You shouldn't have to modify anything. It should just work out of the box, like picking up your your Mavic 2 Pro or your Evo and being able to fly it without incident. And multiple times in areas where there was no wireless connectivity, I had issues. Now I get it, there's gonna be a lot of fanboys that are gonna be really pissed that I'm saying these things, but uh, too bad. What do you want me to do? Tell you that everything is peaches and cream? Come on, cupcake. That's not how it works. When you spend money on a product, you want the facts and you wanna know everything is great. And unfortunately, the controller just sucks. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this was definitely an afterthought. And if Skydio would have built their own proprietary system, I bet you it would have been a lot better because their obstacle avoidance technology is amazing. And it just makes no sense why they didn't sp spend the same amount of time developing a controller. Reason number three, filming yourself just isn't that interesting at all. The boosted board I have on the back wall, like I never had a boosted board prior to owning a Skydio. The only reason why I picked up a boosted board was so I can do tracking shots with it. And then the more and more I started thinking about it, I'm like, 
That's stupid. I never cared about tracking before and I still don't. And let me ask you guys, like how interested are any of you in watching somebody film themselves on a boosted board? You're probably not because if I look at my audience demographic, chances are most of us can't afford to get hurt on a boosted board, right? Any of you guys got Aflac? I sure as hell don't got Aflac. So if I break my hip or, or wreck pretty bad, yeah, I'm out of work and I need these hands to, to work and, and to make money just like probably you. So the reality is I'm not really doing this for action sports and you know, not filming yourself walking on a beach with a drone trailing behind you is not that all magical. It's not going to score you Tinder points. I promise you. So the novelty of filming yourself only works in certain situations, like if you are somebody who rides a dirt bike, mountain bike, or you're way out in the middle of nowhere, yeah, it's it's cool. And even still, there are a lot of caveats surrounding around the environment you're flying in that just make no sense. The other thing is all the little nuances around the warranty. In a warranty far, far away. Well, it's not really that far, but you should read before flight. I present to you the Skydio warranty. The Star Wars song was was copywritten. So how about this? Just didn't make a lot of sense. The fact that I couldn't fly at night or be able to use this drone professionally. It was a $1,500 drone that was just purely meant for fun. And believe me, there's nothing wrong with that at all. If you just wanna have fun with the drone, it's a lot of fun, but at the end of the day, it sat on my shelf for three weeks. And every time I've taken my boosted board out since, I've always been in the, the city or areas where, I, why would I film myself? That is like the most vain thing to do. And it's just an accident waiting to happen. And after seeing all of my fellow creators slowly but surely start wrecking these things, I started thinking to myself, I'm like, do I really want to be the next one that wrecks it? and may or may not be able to get it warrantied. Now, chances are it probably would get warrantied if it got wrecked because let's just face it, as much as people want to claim that you can, you know, that they wouldn't take care of a YouTuber, they probably would with a few exceptions, but I didn't want to be the next person to wreck the drone. So I made the conscious decision just to sell it because at the end of the day, it's not for me. And there's a lot of great products that are coming down uh, the pipe that are for me. Now, now the end result of all this is, is I hope Skydio maybe sees this video, which they probably will. They're pretty active on social media and thinks about the next version of the Skydio 3 and maybe thinks about a controller from a different perspective. Autonomy is great, but nothing beats the human mind's decisions. And if you compare that up with great reception, an amazing controller and your own proprietary system, I think you guys will have a slam dunk. But unfortunately, what I thought was impressive at first just led to overall disappointment. And that's where I sit with it. And that's the reason why I sold it. And I wanted you guys to have the full facts of why I did that. Now, could this drone get better with time? I don't think you're going to fix the reception unless if they did something with those antennas. I don't see the reception ever getting better. And uh, yeah, and the fact that they won't loosen the ability of this drone to do things you know, by the pilot's perspective and not so much from the drone is another thing that just bothers me. Now I get it. It's a beautiful product and I think they really knocked out of the park and I want it to really, really, really believe in this company because more so it's an American company, but at the end of the day, it's just not for me. So I felt like it, this needed to be said. So if you have a problem with this video, I'm sorry, but somebody had to say it. And um, I unfortunately don't stroke companies' egos. I just say it like it is and let the chips fall where they may. So there's, there's that. Alrighty, that's gonna do it. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully the next time you see me, we have better things to talk about, but this one definitely needed to get off my chest. See you next time.